안녕하세요. 제 이름은 나미입니다. Hi, it's Nami, and today I'm finally showing you my skincare routine, which has been highly requested because I've had acne for a good five years, girl. And I finally figured out something to keep, you know, my breakouts at bay, and what I can do to help treat my breakouts when they do come. So let's go ahead and tie up our hair, remove our lashes, wet our face. and throw on our cleansing. So previously I was using an organic face wash and I really liked that because it was really gentle on my skin. I also used coconut oil to first remove my makeup and then use that cleanser to remove the coconut oil and any remaining makeup off my skin. But I have since run out of that cleanser and I don't use coconut oil anymore. I actually switched over to sunflower seed oil but my makeup isn't as heavy as it used to be because i only wear powder now so i don't really find a need to actually remove with oil that's why i just use a regular basic based foam cleanser this one's from etude house even though it's a foaming cleanser i still find it not too harsh for my skin because i only use a little bit And I don't use it for too long on my face. It's better to do multiple short rinses than to massage in a product for a long time, especially something drying like a cleanser. And then I'll go and remove my eye makeup with Gently Off and some Q-tip. Flip it to clean sides. And then I go back in with another little bit of, really tiny, the foam cleansing. I do try to wash my face in the shower at least once a week so I can kind of get steam and steam my face. I will use this exfoliating um, instant refinishing facial from Estee Lauder. It's one of my favorite really gentle scrubs that nourish and hydrate and revitalize the skin. I go about my shower while rinsing it. I'll just kind of massage it through my skin and it makes my skin feel so soft. And then I tone with my Derma E Vitamin C micellar water, cleansing water. This one has probiotics and 100% stable vitamin C on a cotton pad. The vitamin C helps to brighten the face and eliminate any darkness while making sure to remove any excess makeup and bring the pH back to the skin. And after my toner, I usually like to throw on a mask. I usually opt for a sheet mask, something hydrating or nourishing for my skin instead of something drying or like clarifying. Clarifying masks I would do maximum once a week, but something like really hydrating or refining or nourishing, I don't mind doing every day or every other day. This mask is from Face Story and it's a subscription based box of masks per month. Just if you were interested, they have lots of really fun masks with different features like foaming or this one's like a jelly one and what i like to do when i put a mask on is i like to kind of just squeeze some of the product while i'm pulling it out so it's not dripping go ahead and place this on my face and start with the top of my forehead and then between my brows i pull down the nose my mouth and then the edges of the face. I always like to make sure there aren't any air gaps or air bubbles so I apply the mask from top down in out. That way it lays flat and removes any air bubbles that that area of skin which is not touching the mask won't receive. And remember that stuff that we left in here we are going to squeeze to one side, flip it upside down and squeeze it down that one side lots of product left. So 
Some people say they like to put this remaining product on their neck or their arms or their elbows or their legs. Yes, do that if you have excess, but with what we have majority here, let's put it back into our mask. Especially where your sheet feels more dry. 10 to 20 minutes. With the remaining product, they'll usually just kind of rub it in. Let this dry a bit. And I like to use vitamin C serum to also help it to dry and further nourish my skin. This one is from Art Naturals. It's just a vitamin C serum. And I do a little bit of a shaky, a little bit of a squeezy, a little bit of a shaky again. And I usually do five drops of this because I have quite a bit of scarring. A trick to not having residue around the neck of your bottle when you're using droppers is to squeeze out the product before placing your dropper back in that way any air pressure will cause the product to go back into your dropper a little bit rather than if your dropper was completely full and then the air pressure there's less space for air the product will be shot out of this nozzle area or like this this neck area i promise i'm not a flappy bird so usually this is when i will put my eye cream on but currently i don't have an eye cream I ran out, uh, so if you have any recommendations for a good eye cream, hook a girl up. I'm just kind of like trying to put some of my products not too close to my eye, but under eye areas and completely unmoisturized. And then I throw on my bio oil onto areas of my face with scarring, trying to avoid areas that already have breakouts currently. You can tell when your breakout is not active anymore when it has flattened. So by the time it's flattened, I would say it's pretty safe to use the bio oil. It's time for another oil. This one's tea tree oil. And I'm gonna put this in, guess where? On my breakouts. I read somewhere you should use a Q-tip so that you're not dipping the area of your breakouts. Usually I'm not really transferring bacteria, but you never know because you can't see it. So you do wanna be careful. I always liked to use my fingers though, because then I could feel which areas do need. Kills any fungus or bacteria. It's good for insect bites as well and for cuts and abrasions. And for my moisturizers, I do use two. One's more of a moisturizer. This one's the Derma E Vitamin C Renewing Moisturizer. And I use Dermalogica's Active Moist, which is more of a lotion. So I like to put on the vitamin C one first. I do have all of the products I'm using today linked down below. Some of these links are affiliate based, which means that we may get a small portion of your purchase to go back into our channel. And then I seal everything with an oil. Like I mentioned before, previously I used to use coconut oil, but coconut oil particles are quite large and on a comedogenic scale of one to five, they do rate as four. So I stopped using coconut oil and I purchased some sunflower seed oil and hemp oil because their rating is zero, which means they won't clog any pores. But this one I'm using right now, I'm just trying to finish it off. It's the Derma E face oil blend. And I blended a whole bunch of essential oils. I don't remember what the mix was, but it was during an Ipsy event with Derma E. It smells really good. And I do put a lot on for nighttime. For daytime, I usually just do about two to three drops for nighttime i do about seven because oil sits on top of water when you moisturize and nourish your skin with water or hyaluronic acids or vitamin c's or any kind of nourishing ingredients into your skin you want to top it off with oils so that it won't evaporate off your skin i remember previously i would use like three moisturizers and really just pile it on there. I'd have this thick layer, go to sleep, and I'll wake up with my face feeling super tight and super dry. And my skin has become very dry and sensitive, and that's what causes my acne, and has been for the past five years, ever since I used the Clarisonic way too harsh for my skin and totally stripped my acid mantle. 
which is the protective layer of your skin when i would just pile on the moisturizer because i'm like ah, i need moisturization by morning time it would all be evaporated and my skin would feel super dry so putting on this oil definitely helps seal everything or putting on any oil um, that your skin matches well with um, you'll wake up with really soft supple skin for my morning skincare routine i basically do the same thing just without the mask and with less oil sometimes at night as well i'll use this glam glow super mud clearing treatment as a spot treatment on any active breakouts that i see irritated or they might have pustules in them i'll just put it on overnight over top of all of my oil sometimes it's hard to get it on there because my face is quite slippery but i i manage somehow sometimes you see me with this crazy blob of black all over my face and everyone asks me what it is this is what it is. Well, looky, I don't have that many active breakouts. I used to have like 15 cystic breakouts and like 50 huge clogged pores all over my face. Well, more than that, it was crazy. I'm like traumatized by the Clarisonic. On to the featured comments. Today's featured comment is from Niha. 드라마를 보면 다 알고 싶어요. 그래서 자막 없이 볼때 미치겠어요. 하지만 앞으로 저의 받는 드라마가 자막 없이 다시 볼, 볼 거예요. 니알 씨, 한국어 열심히 공부하세요. 연습 많이 하고 이만큼 배웠다는 게 너무 대단한 것 같아요. 앞으로도 공부 열심히 하고 어, 드라마 많이 보고 <웃음> 자막 없이 <웃음> 힘내세요. 화이팅! 오늘 영상 재밌었으면 구독하시길 바랍니다. 벨도 꼭 누르기! 인스타그램, 트위터, 페이스북이랑 스냅챗에도 곧 만나 뵙겠습니다. 그럼 바이바이!